radio because I didn't I didn't play it much. Yeah. You know? But well, back, uh, back, of course, then, I mean, I mean, unfortunately, unless you did get on Countdown, Australian radio was pretty notorious for not really is. pushing Australian stuff. Triple J is about the only one, I think. Yeah, I know. There's always those, those complaints. But, um, man, I can't, I can't complain too much. I mean, I've been able to get my music across over the years, and they're still playing it, so... I can't bite the hand that, that feeds me, you know. For sure. Now, of course, we see this great uh, concept idea. You mentioned Billy Thorpe's actually just down the uh, the hallway here. Uh, and I saw a recent interview with Little Patty, who was on the show not uh, oh, about a year ago. And um, this is the kind of idea, of this the long way to the top concert that you guys all been talking about in different change rooms and whatever yeah. as you're traveling oh we should get together and do this and it's actually happening how do you feel about that i think it's great i mean it's obviously been talked about as you say and but not not uh, from a uh, communal effort i think the catalyst really was the, the the documentary which was so well received on the abc on yeah. the abc yeah. i mean there were some glaring errors from some people's part and whatever you know you can't please all the people all the time but by and large it was a a, a good tribute to you know what we think is was a great period of uh, Australian music, and um, as Billy says, you know, we deserve a, a a pat on the back. And if we do it ourselves, hey, that's okay. You know, because in the old days, we had success, but at the same time, we we, we weren't exactly uh, flavour of the month socially. You know, uh, uh, we were on the bottom of the of the yes. ladder. You know, yeah. below below taxi drivers and and truck drivers and then oh yeah those musicians you know well i mean we still see that as you mentioned we do sadly we still see that a lot here it's like yeah. we're local oh they're not good enough you have yeah. to come from somewhere else but then again you guys have to go to other countries mm -hmm. and you're big like we know you mentioned in excess and of course we know mm -hmm. the title of the uh the concert long way to the top the great acdc uh, yeah. same type of thing uh they're actually bigger in other countries uh, than they are here. Like you guys had a lot of great success in Japan as well. Yeah, and Holland, places like that. You know, and the royalty checks to come in, and that's very nice. Um, but success is relative. You know, you can be successful in in your own suburb or, or around the world, can't you? It's just um, a matter of uh, uh, keep 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 going, and um, that's been my aim: is to provide the service that I that I give. You know, by writing songs that communicate with people and and performing them to the best of my ability that's my trade yeah no and you do it very well too now yeah. with this the concert we got to course uh we mentioned brian cad and uh and little patty and uh, normie Rowe. you got all these fantastic names called joy uh all these people ross wilson How, yeah ross of course daddy ross cool ross. russell yeah um, Billy, Masters Billy Apprentices, Thorpe. Billy, Marcia Hines, Marcia Hines. Yeah. Gosh, who, is, who isn't there? The every, every single artist there could <coughs> virtually go and do their own concert. But right. imagine, imagine, and they do, and you guys still do this on a, on a regular basis. But mm. imagine uh, all these great Australian talent all together. It's just fantastic idea. If you don't like something, just wait a minute, and you're bound bound <laughs> to like something else, you know, because <laughs> it's like going to be <laughs> it's going to be pretty fast moving. I mean, it's going to be three hours long, you know. But I don't think you're going to be bored because. Every, Everybody's just bang, 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 hit after hit after hit. I think uh, Billy pointed out uh, this morning uh, there's 45 number one records being yeah. performed, you know. Yeah, 30 great Australian artists, all the very best. <laughs> uh, we, uh, I reckon uh, there's a couple, it's a sad that there's a couple names that are going to be missing, like I mentioned earlier, Shirley, mm. uh, Strawn. There's a couple of names who will be m missed in this, but uh, Ted, Murray. Ted Murray, of course, who we saw pass away now. How do you. Yeah, I mean we're we we we're all conscious of that, and we are going to pay tribute to you know some people that won't be around. Uh, hey, that's life and death, you know. And um, but uh, no, it's sad. I mean, I I I do miss Shirley. Shirley was a great guy. And yeah, you guys had a lot to do together. As I mentioned, countdown. Yeah, he was just a good bloke. You know, he was. Uh, he he knew he knew what he what his position was. He knew he wasn't going to be a pop star forever, so he went off and became a. Uh, a TV show presenter and did very well at it. Yeah. Actually, you uh, actually put together a pilot back in the old <laughs> oh, days too. Know. Come on, <laughs> to uh, uh, the, the boys, wasn't it with the Twilights? You guys actually oh, looked yeah. at doing a TV show as well. Yeah, we did. did uh, pilot? We did a pilot, and we had a. We were sponsored. We were going to be sponsored by General Motors Holden. So at that time, it was a big deal. Yeah. And then at the last minute, they pulled out, 
uh, for some reason I can't remember. And um, probably thought, not enough sex and drugs or whatever involved or something. I don't know what what the reason was, but it certainly took the wind out of our sails and uh, it contributed to our demise, really. You know, because we were looking to to go in that area, a la the monkeys or whatever. You know, yeah. that's that style of show. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, from an Aussie point of view, and uh, yeah, we had we had uh, a, a strong. Um, uh, uh, motivation to keep that going, but hey, without a sponsor, it, did, it fell over. Well, I think they should uh, look at this again and do it again. Maybe get some of your buddies together, well, or maybe uh, maybe like the o Osbournes, do a camera in your, around your house. What do you reckon? Golly, I saw that for the first time a couple of days. I couldn't believe it, man. I mean, I knew it was going to be wild, but that I mean, the guy's a fruitcake, you know. Poor old guy. But he, he shuffles like a robot. Poor oh. bugger. Billy Riggs is on medication the whole time. I think he's probably right. But boy, I mean, language, man. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Especially from the, gir the, the girls as well. <gasps> My father turning his grave. Even the dogs. Now, uh, you, with the, what's happening with you now? What's, you're doing the concert. What's, what's going to happen from there? Um, I'll probably go into hospital after it. Um, <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Um, not a lot, mate. I mean, this is five weeks of pretty gruelling stuff, you know, it's, it's not going to be too hard uh, as far as b playing the music, but uh, the other side of the travelling is going to be fairly uh, intense. But uh, I do a lot of shows around the country from a, on a private level, you know, a lot of corporate stuff. You know, I'm in and out of Perth, unbeknownst to a lot of people to do things. and. I don't know, the phone will ring and somebody will ask me to do something. Hey, Glenn, yeah. Now, uh, do you see an album coming out of this by any chance? Because uh, if you don't, I think you guys better. Uh, a DVD is definitely going to be made, yeah. Right, right. Um, so that'll encompass that, I, I should imagine. I don't know whether the actual CD will come out. That might be a bit difficult. You might might not get all the um, record companies to agree, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, because there's different groups putting this together, right, of course. Right, yeah, it could be the... Uh, a political nightmare, but um, the DVD will be great, I think. I think you're fantastic. Now, I'll give you one last question because obviously you got to run. Yeah. And thanks for the time too, by the way. Uh -huh. Thanks for being on balls and all. But that's, what I'm, that's what I'm here for. Up and coming artists, what what kind of information do you think you'd like to uh, pass on to them? Oh, I thought you were going to ask me of the up and coming. Oh well, <laughs> how do you like the up and coming artists then? Oh, there's, there's a few, not many, but there's a few. Uh, I think you know Casey Chambers is wonderful. I yes. think uh, Powderfingers are a great, great vocal band. I think the new album by um, by uh, Silverchair is outstanding. Yeah, I think that's an amazing album. I just I was mind gobsmacked by it really. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of great talent around. I, I think uh, the best advice I give is just keep uh, uh, keep yourself aware and keep keep sponging you know keep absorbing influences and keep learning about this wonderful business called show business and don't uh, don't restrict yourself you know try different things okay and uh just want to say thanks to for being on the show uh don't forget august the 24th the big concert you got to be there it's fantastic and uh of course one of the great names is going to be there is mr glenn Shore. thanks for talking to us thanks mate. all the best no cheers worries. See you guys, wherever you are, out there in television land.